Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Miss Sheer Gorgeous and I'm just um, coming to you guys to show you how I do my ombre hair on this Peruvian hair. It, the length that I have is a 20 inch, a 16, and then there's a 14 at the top. And this is, well it was virgin Peruvian hair when I first purchased the hair. However, I did do an ombre on it which I really really love. Um, I think ombres are cool because they're kind of like summer hair, like, you know, kind of go lighter in the summer. But it's okay to wear it in the fall and the winter because it's still kind of dark into light. It's not like super platinum blonde or whatever. And it, it's like, I don't know. I used to be afraid of color, guys, when I first started. So this is pretty nice for me because I can do a splash of color without, you know, going completely black. Because all my weaves used to be 1B. That's it. But, um... Other than that, I really love this hair. I really like how it came out. This is a wig that I made. Um, has a drawstring, drawstring in the back. So I really like this wig. I hope you guys stay tuned to see how I make the wig and how I do the ombre look. Majority of this video will be video, which is how I made the ombre or how I colored the hair into the ombre that it is. Um, however, at the end of the video, it will be a little bit of kind of a just picture-torial. Is that a word? Who cares? Anyway, it's pictures to show you how I did my wig. Because I didn't want to do a full video on how to make a wig because I've already done that. Um, if you want to know how to make a wig, period, you can check that video out. Or um, if you're doing a sew-in, I also have videos on how to do sew-ins as well. Um, but other than that, I just posted pictures on, you know, basically the steps that I took in, in installing it on my wig cap. Um, and other than that, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Uh, make sure you guys rate, comment, and subscribe. Okay, first step in making my wig is I'm going to cut all the hair off of an old wig, um, which I no longer wear because it's way too nappy and poofy. Um, and it has a, a drawstring in the back, so that's why I like this cap. So I'm going to cut all the hair. wig should look like when I'm, when you're finished. All right, so the first process I'm gonna do is I have my coloring bowl, and then I have some lightener. Um, and this is by Clairol Professional. And then I have a 30 volume developer. And then I also have a 40 volume developer. The reason why I have two of those, or two different levels, is because I want the bottom, the tips of the hair, to be a little bit lighter than the rest of the hair, so it can give it a nice ombre look dark fading into lighter colors. For the darker pieces, I'm going to put this Ginger 30 Adore. You guys can see that. I'm going to put that over the um, 30 volume pieces. And on top of the 40 volume pieces, I'm going to add uh, a very light blonde. And this is by Clairol also. It's a 10A. mixing the 30 volume just to go on top so that when I put my um when I put the ginger on top the ginger color on top it's gonna pop and this is where you want to start um, using a little bit more of an ombre technique and what I mean by that is 
instead of just applying it in a straight line, I'm going to make a little bit of a rigid edge. And I'm going to do an overlay over the um, lightener that, the lightened hair that I've already placed there. So I'm just starting it.